Jim Henson and his Muppets got their big boost in show business on public television, Sesame Street, in 1969. Miss Piggy, Big Bird, and Oscar the Grouch are all Henson creations, but as the puppeteer explained in a documentary tribute to the Muppets in 1987, his favorite character was Kermit the Frog. Because I've done him for so long, he's very comfortable. Uh, he ad-libs very easily, and uh, I'm almost all, you know, I'm almost always comfortable with him in virtually any situation. He has something to say. Even if he has nothing to say, he can say that. And uh, uh, so from that standpoint, it's, I guess it's close to an alter ego of some sort. Uh, excuse me, guys. We're looking for Hollywood. Uh, you know, do, do you know anything about the way to Hollywood? Uh, Hollywood, California? No, it's, it's over near Los Angeles. Do, have you ever been to Los... Have you ever been to Los... Uh, excuse me. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's a little town where they make movies, you know? Did you ever go to the movies? Uh, these are natives. They don't know much about movies. It's certainly not a career that one would plan. You know, you wouldn't decide to become a puppeteer, I don't think, uh, in your life. Uh, I, was, I was interested in television and films and art, and actually, then what... When I went into puppetry, I found that I could combine all of this stuff. I don't want to play a game with rhymes. Let me go and Bert, oh, ring my chime. I don't want to do it. There's really nothing to it. It's so silly. A boy named Bully. Stop it, please. A dog has fleas. Ow! No! Annie, please, this has got to stop. Some people like to jump and hop. I don't want to do it. No more. Anymore. What, what, hmm? I don't. what, what, hmm? I don't want to do it anymore. Yig is here, goes bird here, de press do. In goes bird here, de bird de scorn, a bird de do. Yig is true, who, de scorn, de bird de do, presser. What about this character, Jim Henson? What do you think about him? All right. I don't really, I, I hear his name bandied about a lot. But uh, I don't particularly have any real, real I don't know him. I, I don't know who Henson is. He seems to have his hand in a lot of things around here, but uh, I don't particularly know what that means. I think there's a, a child in all of us, and, uh, and I think some of us, I, in my own work, I'm kind of working with that child, you know, a great deal. I, and, but I think, you know, uh, I think the people that like the Muppets, the part of them that likes the Muppets is the child in them. Life's like a movie, write your own ending, keep believing, keep pretending, we've done just what we set out to do. Once again, Wednesday's other main stories, President Bush said the tensions in the Baltic republics could affect his upcoming summit with President Gorbachev. Mr. Bush also refused a request by Nicaragua's President Chamorro for an emergency loan of $40 million. Good night, Jim. Good night, Judy. We'll see you tomorrow night. I'm Jim Lehrer. Thank you and good night. Funding for the news hour has been provided by PepsiCo.
Every day, we enjoy people being cold to us, cutting us up, getting fresh with us, tearing into us, and calling us chicken. In fact, the more people do it, the happier we are. PepsiCo. And by the John D. and Catherine T. MacArthur Foundation, a catalyst for change. And by AT&T. And made possible by the financial support of viewers like you and the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. public libraries, other organizations, and home viewers may purchase NewsHour video cassettes by calling toll-free 800-424-7963. This is PBS. This time tomorrow night, join us for Mystery. Next on Mystery, a routine investigation leads Morse to a bizarre string of murders. Frenzied attack, she said. So where was he killed? Where's the blood, Lewis? Ghost in the Machine, on Mystery. Thursday night at 8. Stay tuned tonight for American Playhouse. moment, we'll have a few words before tonight's Sesame Street special. Kids 13, remember last year? Well, we're going to do it again. The dances, the fun, the songs. See Bob McGrath, Cookie Monster, and others from your favorite shows. Make a date to join us at the Bandshell in Central Park for the third annual Kids 13 celebration, Sunday, May 20th, starting at 11.30, with stage shows at 12.30 and 3. Part of the eighth annual You Gotta Have Park weekend. Special thanks to WCBS News Radio 88 for their promotional support. Ever since the death of composer Joe Raposo last February, his colleagues at Sesame Street have been putting together Sing. Sesame Street remembers Joe Raposo and his music. Raposo wrote at least a thousand songs for Sesame Street over the 20 years he was with the show. How could anyone have imagined when the Sesame Street tribute was scheduled that it would come to the screen the day that Jim Henson died? Collaborators since 1969, tonight we remember them both. It's not that easy being green Having to spend each day the color of the leaves When I think it could be nicer Being red or yellow or gold Sesame Street remembers Joe Raposo and his music. That pleasant fellow that you saw playing the piano? That was Joe. Sing, sing a song. Sing out loud. Sing out strong. Sing of good things, not bad. Sing of happy, not sad. Sing, sing a song. Make it simple to last your whole life long. 
Don't worry that it's not good enough for anyone else to hear. Sing, sing.